They call the waters off the Outer Banks the graveyard of the Atlantic for a good reason. Hundreds of ships have gone down in these treacherous waters. So if you're visiting the Outer Banks this summer, check out the graveyard of the Atlantic Museum. It's a good way to learn about these wrecks without getting your feet wet. The unique architecture of the building is the first thing you'll notice at the Graveyard of the Atlantic Museum. It's designed to look a little bit like a ship careened over on its side with, with its frames sticking up out of the sand. From the very beginning of our recorded history here in uh, the United States, uh, this has been a, a focal area for maritime disaster. You have the Gulf Stream and the Labrador Currents, which were extremely efficient in bringing ships both north and south. And uh, consequently, ever since Columbus's voyages, any ship that came to this country tried to tap into those two currents. So you combine that with the shoals that we have off here, and you have well over 2,000 shipwrecks just off of Hatteras and Ocracoke alone. If you look at the entire coast of North Carolina, you're probably well over 5,000 shipwrecks. This is one of three maritime museums in North Carolina that tell the rich history of the people and events along our coast. The first thing you'll notice when you come in the door is you're going to see the first order Fresnel lens in the Cape Hatteras Lighthouse. The lens would actually throw a light out, out 20 miles, which would be a real warning to ships. Well, the Civil War came along, and naturally the Confederate government did not want to facilitate travel for the Union forces. So it was dismantled and spirited away. Hatteras Inlet was a vital supply route for the South. And so on August 28th in 1861, Union forces attacked and captured Forts Hatteras and Clark thus controlling the strategic waterway. This was hugely important. Um, it was the North's first victory uh, in, the, in, in the Civil War. It was the first combined operation of the Civil War. It was um, the first time that the Navy actually used a circular maneuver uh, in bombarding uh, stationary shore installations. Artifacts from the USS Monitor are also here. It sank right off just 16 miles straight out that way. Ponder the mystery of the Carol A. Deering the ghost ship of Diamond Shoals. She was found with all her sails set on the Diamond Shoals. They tried to get out to her for four days, but the sea was too rough. They finally got out to her and they found no one on board. The ship's launch was missing. Her anchors were gone. And they never found any trace of the, of the crew. They, to this day, they don't know what happened. All sorts of interesting theories were advanced. Uh, Bolshevik pirates, murder, mutiny, um, everything you can imagine. But the fact is, we still don't know. You may be surprised to learn that the folks at the Hatteras Weather Station received one of the first distress calls from the Titanic. It's a CQD, means come quickly distress. And that was the, the code they used to send out before they started using SOS. And the Titanic was one of the first ships to actually use SOS. But her first calls for help were CQDs. So they picked it up at the Hatteras Weather Station. And they got the telegram and they tried to report it to New York and New York said, don't be ridiculous. So they let it go. But it says quite clearly that Titanic, it gives its position. It says it's it struck an iceberg and it's in distress and it needs help. It was found when the Park Service was doing restoration of the weather station and they opened up one of the walls and they had stuffed old telegrams in there as insulation, which is a common practice. And sure enough, there was a telegram. So they conserved it and now it's on display here as well as much more rich history and heritage of the graveyard of the Atlantic, just waiting to be discovered. This is Derek Long for North Carolina Weekend. The Graveyard of the Atlantic Museum is at 59200 Museum Drive in Hatteras, and they're open Monday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. For more information, give them a call at 252-986 2995 or go online to graveyardoftheatlantic.com.